I mean, it's it's such a favorite of mine that I, I, I would do that. <laughs> so we're gonna take an arbitrary open set over here and show that it's pre-image is open. So let's suppose that V in RL is open. Now, notice that the image of f is all integers, right? Only integers. So we only really need to look at integers when we're thinking about the pre-image, right? So notice that for all integers such that n is in v, we have what? The interval from n plus one, or sorry, from n to n plus one has to be a subset of the pre-image of v, right? Because like, look, n is in v, right? But what's everything that's mapped to n? Well, it's gonna be this, right? But I think it, it follows pretty quickly that the pre-image of v is simply equal to the union over all integers that are also in v. So we could just say n and z intersect v, right? Of bracket n, n plus one but the union over all integers in V of n to n plus one is an arbitrary union of open sets in RL. So it's what in RL? What's an arbitrary uh, union of open sets necessarily? Open. open. So it's open in RL. So here's our summary. Our summary is if V in RL is open, then the pre-image of V in RL is open. But that's equivalent to saying F is continuous over RL.